Hello, welcome back again to another video on Kden Life. In this video, we're going to look at how we can place a text behind an object or behind a person, like this one here. So let's get started. Here in Kden Life, uh, in order to place a text or any object behind another object or another person like this, uh, you have to use the rotoscoping mask to do that. It takes a lot of time to do that. So here in the effects panel under the alpha mask and king you have the rotoscoping mask now if you don't know how to use the rotoscoping mask we have a video up here so you can be able to click that what's how you can use the rotoscoping mask and then you can create your project uh, mask your project so let's do that now now you can see these yellow border lines here indicating that uh, the rotoscoping mask is active but if you don't have that, you see these little icons here, once it's um, not activated, you don't see this yellow borderline. So make sure to come down here and activate it. So you can have the borderlines around. Uh, once we have that, now we can do the mask here. So let's do a wrap mask, but take note, it's gonna take a lot of time to do a nice, uh, uh, perfectly done uh, masking. And that is when you go frame, by frame imagine you have a very long video and you just want to mask that uh, traditional way it will take a lot of time simply just to mask out and then you can place the text behind so we are here now uh, to join this i simply do a right click and you can see already there we just mask the person out so let's just place our text here and you can see we place the text behind and then we go to the project bin and bring in our original clip again you can see the text is behind this because we just masked this one out but you can see the problem is when we play the video you can see this cut out here showing that it's really masking so uh, it looks okay we want to do a rough work but um, we want to do something nicely done uh, here in Kaden Life, uh, they have an effects here but it doesn't really work well there is the background king here you can see that it does nothing uh, sometimes it removes the background and it becomes totally black so um, in order to avoid this you can use the rotoscoping mask to do that as we have just shown so you can rotoscope this out and then uh, we can place our text but it takes a lot of time because you have to go frame by frame to uh, mask it out so why not we use the ai to do the job for us now here are two great places that you can use to remove the background so that you can be able to import it back into uh, Kden Live. So the first uh, AI application is called Unscreen. The link is in the description below. So all you have to do is upload your clip up here. So let's just upload our clip. So here's our video. Let's select that and uh, click open. And you can see it's uh, preparing to upload that. And now it's ready to remove the background. It's, you can see that it's nicely uh, did the work there for us already. But with this one, we're going to export it as PNG file, which is kind of having the transparent background. But so here you can see we already removed the background, but uh, it does a nicely job there. Uh, with this one, it's okay. Uh, we can go up here and you can see the download. You have the option of download the GIFs, download the animated PNG file and a single frame. So we want to go for the single frame. Now, if you don't want to uh, do this and you want to download the MP4, uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to subscribe with no watermark. But with this, uh, we're going to have some watermark there. So let's go to the single frame here and it's going to um, generate the PNG files here and then we can have that. So you can see it's already downloaded here. So let's go there and let's just open this one uh, and zip it. So here's all the uh, files that we have here. So let's uh, look at that and let's go back to the Kden Life. So here in Kden Life, um, let's want to bring that in. So let's just delete this one, delete this one and bring this one here a place to playhead right there. Go to the project bin and right in in the project bin you do a right click and you can see it says add image sequence so from here once you click that uh, in this little icon here this is where you click to go to the folder where you have your uh, sequences being imported into so this is the one there um, let's go to the one that we just downloaded so let's click here and this is the one that we want and let's click open so you can see it's here and uh, if you um, file is in jpeg originally you can have that but your uh, imported files are in png 
you can see nothing appears here. So make sure to change the image type to the type of image, which is this case is PNG file. So you can see the sequences being appeared here. Another important thing is in the uh, frame duration. You can see it's pipe there. We want to change this pipe to zero. Go to the last zero there and place once. So once we have that, now let's click OK. So once we click OK, uh, you can see it's uh, generating uh, image sequence here. So let's place this down. So again, you can see it's a nicely job, but you can see the uh, watermark there. Again, we have the spot remover here. So it's just uh, showing you what you can do with that. So let's apply this and then bring this down to the here to hide this up and you can adjust the size from here. So and now you can see that there's nothing. The watermark has been removed. It's just being hidden out here. Uh, you can have that. Um, you can place the original video right down here. It's good to download the MP4 and that means you have to subscribe to download the MP4. So this is the first AI. Uh, the second AI is um, Runway ML. Now, Runway ML is the best that we, I recommend you to use. I create an account so that you can be able to use their uh, applications here. So right here in the remote background, uh, once we click this, uh, we go in and we can go to our video here and you can do a double click to load this onto the timeline here. And here's the person. You can see this little um, click on an area to start masking. So click on the area that you want to mask. So let's just click on this person here. This is the one that we want to mask out. So let's just uh, put this uh, little dots here, green dot here. And let's the AI mask out the person and removing the background. Okay, so you can see it's nicely done the work of removing the background. And this is the best that I can recommend. So here you can see a little bit of um, transparent uh, right here so if you come to the mode here you can see include and exclude exclude means if the masking just um, leave some of the mask around here and you want to remove that go to exclude but you can see this one here we want to keep this so let's uh, click on the include here and simply just click on that little dot to um, generate the mask on that as well and let's scrap through so see you can see it's nicely removing the mast here so what we need to do is go to the export button here and we export that and you can see it's placed the green screen you can change the color to any color that you want to uh, you can see 1080p 720p and 4k uh, you can just export this uh, click on the exporting mast now once we export that uh, we can then bring this into Caden Life. So you can see the notification here and you can see this is some of the videos this one is still uh, running so this is the video the same one that i'm just demonstrating it again so we click on this and you can see the download icon here uh, click on the download icon to download your videos uh, once you do that uh, you can then bring into caden live so here in caden live uh, we have our video right in there so let's just bring this down and then uh, just remove this and this is the original video and this is the green screen video that we just imported from the runway ml and once we have that now we're going to use the chroma keying to king out the green uh, color here or the green screen there so go to the effects under the alpha mask and king you have the chroma key so apply that too and once you have that um select your clip and you can see the color picker here you can change the color to whatever color on your screen and then you can click on the color picker and simply click that and you can see nicely remove the uh, green from there let's just bring this in back in here and go to the project bin and bring in our text our purpose of this video is to place the text uh, behind the person so once we have that you can see nicely we just did that now you can fix this uh, spilled a uh, green spilled here properties here to do that so let's just bring this one up bring this one up a little bit and you can see we just removed that so it's nicely done there uh, once we have that that's it so that's how we can use ai to place a text removing the background and you can do that so we place the original video we place the text in between and the green screen on top so you can see we just place the text behind the person thank you again for watching see you back again in another video